Hi guys, this is Nathan with theebookreader.com. For this video review, I'm going to show you guys how to route the Nook Glow Light uh, using the Tiny Newt package put together by Roustabout over at XDA. So basically, all you need is a micro SD card, uh, and then you have to uh, write an image to this micro SD card, the Clockwork Mod uh, Recovery image uh, that's over, available over at XDA. And I have the uh, exact step by step instructions on my website on how to write that image onto your uh, micro SD card. And then all you have to do is download a couple of uh, Tiny Newt packages. And then you just drag those packages right onto the um, uh, micro SD card after you have uh, put Clockwork Mod onto here. And then all we got to do is power off your Nook Touch completely. Uh, and then we go ahead and stick the card into the back. And then power it on. And then it will show the Clockwork, Clockwork Mod logo here for a second. And then it will boot up into the uh, menu. And then from there we can install the tiny new package. Okay, so the buttons on the left they go back and the buttons on the right they move the cursor up and down. So we have to go down to install zip from SD card and then hit the little end button right here to select. And then we just ch uh, select the uh, first one here, it's choose zip from SD card. Um, we've got to install the tiny new package, the one of two package first. We just select that and then we got to move down to confirm. And then it will take it a few seconds to install. And then basically we do the same exact thing again for the uh, second package. Okay, so once that's done, we just select choose zip from SD card again. We go down to the second package and then install it. Okay, so once that's done, we just hit the back button, and then um, we got to take out the uh, CMW, CWM, sorry, a memory card, and then we hit the uh, reboot system now, and it's good to go. Your Nook Glow is actually rooted now, and it's got the Amazon App Store installed. So this package, uh, like I said in the written directions, it doesn't come with the Google App Store uh, because that takes some more technical work. That'll probably be down the road a ways. Um, but uh, with this, it does everything that the uh, other package does basically. You got your Nook Touch rooted and you got the Nook Touch tools in here. We've got the different things we need to install apps. We've got the Amazon App Store. And then once you load that up, you can get some other apps like a web browser and you can download apps from other app stores. So the first time that it loads up, it's going to take it uh, quite a bit longer than it normally takes. And then once we uh, get to the load screen, um, after it loads up, I'll show you a couple of tips for getting started. Okay, so the Nook Glow will boot up and go to the lock screen like usual. And then on the other side of the lock screen, you're going to be uh, greeted with this new action here. So I would recommend uh, hitting this little checkbox right here and then hitting ADW Launcher. So that way you can get to the uh, Android home screen here. Uh, that Then you can get to your regular Nook home screen anytime by using your end button and going back to your Nook's home screen right here. And then there's this little icon over here. You probably can't see it on the camera. It's for a button saver. And you can use button saver to uh, navigate to your Android home screen. Uh, for, so the first thing you want to do is open your app drawer, it's the center button right here. Um, you can drag your apps onto the home screen like this. Um, so you can use the Amazon App Store to download apps, but the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Nook Color Tools right here, and then uh, uncheck, and then recheck Allow Non-Market Apps. That way we can install apps now uh, when you go to the Amazon App Store. So uh, one thing that I did is I went ahead and installed the Opera web browser, and then from there I could install other app stores and other apps. Uh, so that way I could get my uh, Nook Glow running. So you just hold the button like usual and the glow light turns on. You can access it up there just like uh, before rooting. And obviously your whole Nook uh, package still works the same. So this has just been a quick look at how to root the Nook Touch using the Tiny Nook package thanks to uh, Roustabout over at XDA. Check out theebookreader.com for some additional information as well as XDA. I'm going to go ahead and post uh, a review tomorrow. Uh, showing some more in-depth stuff what you can do with the uh, rooted nook touch so uh, check that out and thank you for watching